Hello, my name is Liz, and I'm a librarian at Southwest Regional Library. Today, we are recognizing Banned Books Week. Each year, the American Library Association's Office for Intellectual Freedom compiles an annual list of challenged books. These are books that certain groups and individuals might want removed from schools or public libraries due to their own beliefs or personal values. Groups write letters, hold meetings, and go to drastic measures to attempt to control what you read, regardless of your own personal values and freedom to read or view materials of your own choosing. One book that is on the American Library Association's list of classical titles that has faced scrutiny is The Grapes of Wrath. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck is set during the Great Depression and Dust Bowl and centers on a family of poor tenant farmers, the Jodes, that lose their jobs, their farm, and are evicted from their home during that time of economic and ecological disaster. Faced with starvation, the Jodes, along with 2.5 million others from Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, Arkansas, and other farming communities set out for California to seek a better life. The people, often pejoratively referred to as Okies, experienced hardships, discrimination, and disease on their way to find a better life. Although The Grapes of Wrath is a fictionalized account of that time period, Steinbeck, a journalist, used actual journals and other first-hand accounts of this when writing the story. The Grapes of Wrath was published in 1939, would end up winning a Pulitzer Prize, and was cited as a factor in Steinbeck winning a Nobel Prize in 1962. Over the years, the book has been challenged primarily over its use of language and religious imagery. Why did I like The Grapes of Wrath? I liked the author's use of language and use of religious imagery. I am also a history buff and found the story of the Jodes going through a time of historic upheaval, horrifying, sad, and inspirational. It inspired me to find out more about the story. Through further research, I found out that the people involved in this great migration became part of the fabric of California by finding work in the booming factories of the 1940s and becoming part of the middle class, where today they and their descendants make up about 10% of the total population of that state, proving that no matter how bad things might seem today, there is always hope for a better tomorrow. If you want to find out more about this time period, you might want to watch the documentary by Ken Burns called The Dust Bowl. It does a fantastic job of capturing the immense tragedy and horror experienced by the survivors of the ecological disaster that triggered the Great Migration to California from the Great Plains. That and other resources on the Grapes of Wrath and the events that surround it can be found on Hoopla, which is accessible with your library card, on broward.org slash library and online resources. Or for help accessing this information, call 954-357-6580 and we will be happy to assist you.